The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, Greek, Nemeo tu Agnostou Stratiote translate. Manimio tou Agnostou Stratiote is a war memorial located in Syntagma Square in Athens, in front of the old royal palace. It is a cenotaph dedicated to the Greek soldiers killed during war. It was sculpted between 1930 and 1932 by sculptor Phokion Rock. The tomb is guarded by the Evzones of the Presidential Guard. Construction The decision to build a monument was taken by Army General and Constitutional Dictator Theodorus Pangalos. In his capacity as Army Minister, an advertisement was placed in the Espera newspaper, requesting a submission for a study of the construction of a tomb of the unknown soldier, in front of the old royal palace, suitable for this purpose." On 9 October 1926, the Army Ministry approved and granted by majority the study made by architect Emmanuel Lazaridis. The location of the monument at the Old Palace was suggested both by the architect himself and by Pangalos, who wish for the Army Ministry to be housed in the building. However in 1929, after fervent reaction and continuous meetings, Eleftherios Venizelos, setting aside his disagreements with Pangalos, decided that the best location would be the original one in Syntagma Square, reasoning that the monument ought to be in the city centre, much like the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. The construction committee had given all responsibility for the construction to Lazaridis. Initially, he had worked with sculptor Thomas Thomopoulos who had proposed as a central sculpture a representation of the Gigantomachy with an angel representing Greece lovingly receiving the dead soldier. Despite Lazaridis initially agreeing to this design, Thomopoulos's sculpture was never built due to lack of funds. In 1930, Lazaridis instead assigned Phokion Rock as sculptor with a unanimous decision of the construction committee. The committee then approved a new proposal for the sculpture, a gunner lying on the ground. This design was deemed appropriate owing to its calmness and simplicity. For the construction, a large-scale excavation and leveling of terrain took place. The tomb was unveiled on 25 March 1932 by then Prime Minister Andreas Mihalikopoulos, with the participation of many foreign delegations, followed by a parade of the Monument Guard. At the same time, a torch was brought from the monastery of Agia Lavra to light the eternal flame in the center of the cenotaph. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Style and inscriptions. The tomb is in the French urban and classical tradition, combined with the modern spirit of Art Deco and with symbolic references to ancient Greece. The main issue was the integration of the tomb with Syntagma Square and with the neoclassical palace and the contribution to the redevelopment of the square. The tomb is a large-scale pie-shaped retaining wall of limestone. The sculpture is at the center of the wall. To the left and to the right there are two side staircases while in the center there is a rectangular raised grave. The stairs of the monuments are purely decorative, as the steps are for observation during ceremonies. The sculpture represents the naked male figure of a dead warrior lying on the ground. He holds a circular shield in his left hand and wears an ancient Greek-style helmet. The representation of the body gives the impression that the unknown soldier is ready to arise at any moment. 
To the left and right of the sculpture are phrases from the works of Thucydides. To the left, there's one empty beer made up for the unidentified fallen ones. To the right, Andron Epiphanon Pasagi Tafos. The whole earth is the sepulchre of famous men. Both are quotes from history of the Peloponnesian War. Over the main sculpture in smaller writing, one reads, Isophane Stratiote, to an unknown soldier. The names of battles where many Greek lives were lost in recent history are written into the limestone walls around the sculpture. To the left of the monument, descending by the steps, are inscribed the names of battle locations of the First and Second Balkan War and the World War I, Elisona, Sarantaporo, Lazarades, Porta Pass, Katerini, Sarovic, Yenij, Thessaloniki, Ostravan and Koritsa, Pesta, Gribovo, Paint Pigadia, Preveza, Atorachi, Manoliasa, Bazani, Driskas, Kilkis Lachanas, Bells, Kresna Sumagia, Petsovo, Nevrokopi, Benitsa, Makamea, Golabillo, Saborsko, Preslap, Aragon, Ravine, Monastery, Skra, Strymon, Doran, Bells, Grandcarone, and Zena. To the right of the monument, descending by the steps, are inscribed the names of battle locations of the Russian Civil War and Greco-Turkish War, Cherson, Sermikas, Odysos, Sevastopolis, Artaki, Adenio, Prusa, Philadelphia, Tumlu Buner, Kutashia, Dorilion, Afiankara Hizar, Sangarios and Kale Grotto. To the left and right of the figure of the dead soldier are the names of battle locations of World War II and later engagements in which Greeks died, Pindus, Morova, Koritsa, Kalamas, Tamaros, Trebuchina, Chamara, Argyrakastron, Hill 731, Bubizi, Kalpaki, Klysora, Primeti, Ostravitsa, Pogradek, Rupal, Parathori, Crete, El Alamein, Rimini, Rubiconas, Dodecanes, Korea and Cyprus. <laughs> Gallery <laughs>